This is coming out so easy. What the heck? Wow, this is gratifying. Wow, wasn't that cool? Today, I'm gonna share a secret with you how to remove those chain stitches like that. Sometimes when you're trying to alter and seam rip denim, it can be so hard because of those chain stitches. They do not wanna rip out. So that stitch on your denim that looks looped in the back and looks like a plain stitch on the front, that is a chain stitch. This stitch is different than the straight stitch on your sewing machine. It takes a whole separate machine to create this. And that's why it's so hard to remove. So you can see here on the cuff of these jeans on the inside, it looks like these little loops or little bubbles with the stitches. And then if I flip it over to the right side, it just looks like a plain stitch. And you don't just find this stitch on denim, you find it on knitwear, you find it on wovens. It's generally in mass produced clothing. There's actually a five thread stitch they use, looks like a serger, makes a chain stitch and it serges it all at the same time. But when you're altering clothes, this stitch can be a pain. And every time I run into it, I'm always like, oh no, this is gonna take forever with all of these threads, but not anymore. There is a trick to making this stitch come out faster than any stitch you've ever put into anything. It comes out quicker than a basting stitch. Let's get into it. So you can see the loops of the stitch on the inside of the pant leg here. So one direction, it's gonna undo real quick and smooth. In the other direction, it's not going to undo at all. So what I want you to do is undo a few of the loops here, maybe like three or four of them, just kind of get it started. Now you need to flip the pant leg to the outside and in the same spot, remove those straight stitches. And they're gonna pop out nice and easy. It's gonna be important that you break the stitch. So I've got some of these straight stitches out. So you'll see I've got no straight stitches here and I've removed those loops here. So you wanna undo enough of these loops so that way you have a nice loose thread there that you can hold onto. And when you pull this thread, hold the fabric and they should start to pop out. And so you're noticing that they just pop out like instantly. This is like a really quick process. Isn't this cool? Don't forget to like and subscribe to Sewing Anastasia. And if you like learning about sewing, make sure you check out the Sewing Anastasia sewingacademy.com for online sewing classes for everyone. So you are just going to keep pulling these and they're gonna pop out. Where they stop is where they overlapped these loops. They basically did a back stitch in here. When you get to where they have a back stitch, they're not gonna pull out so much anymore. So you're gonna have to do the same thing and get your seam ripper in there and remove some of these loops because they've backstitched. And just like that, we've taken out the chain stitch. The hem is completely undone. There are no more stitches in the hem. So the thing about this stitch is that it's not equal right to left. It was put in in a certain direction and we need to pull it out in that direction. And it's really hard to tell which way the loops are. So I always like to start it, I'll pull from one direction and if it pops out right away, awesome, great, I pick the right side. And if it doesn't, then I'm gonna pop out the stitches on the other side and then it's gonna pop out right away. So basically, after you've opened up a handful of stitches, you need to start pulling from one end. Choose an end and pull. And if it doesn't pop out, then you need to stop and try the other end. One of the ends will work, but they will not both work. So anywhere you encounter this stitch, it'll pop out just like that. You just have to make sure you're pulling it from the right end. And look at all of these chain stitches on here. This would take forever to seam rip traditionally. We've got one here, 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 here. We've got them everywhere, but with our pop and pull method, they're gonna come out in no time. So next time you come in contact with a stitch, don't fret, it's a breeze. Do you have any tricks for seam ripping specific seams? Leave it down below in the comments. Everyone would love to hear about it. Thank you so much for watching today. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you like, subscribe, and give the video a thumbs up and leave a comment down below. Let me know what video would you like to see next. And don't forget to subscribe to Sewing Anastasia. Hit that notification bell so you know when all the new videos come out. And if you're already a subscriber, thank you so much for watching today. These videos are for you guys. And don't forget to follow on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, TikTok, all the social, so that way we can stay connected and creative together. And if you're in Chicago, come on into the design studio and take a sewing class with me. And if you're not, that's okay too. Check out the Sewing Anastasia Sewing Academy.com for online lessons. And you can join the pattern of the month. Get one exclusive pattern every month with loads of videos for how to create it and alter it. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.